this is Mudkip, Beta Mudkip, from the massive Pokemon leak that's happening right now. But in today's video, we're only going to be discussing the Gen 3 Beta Pokemon that have been revealed, and trust me, there are plenty. First, we'll cover the sprites that have been leaked, and I want to give you my thoughts on them without any dex info. Then we'll take a look at the concept art of these Pokemon, and finally, thanks to high-res Pokemon, we'll be going over the Beta Gen 3 Pokedex with their names and Pokedex entries. To kick things off, we have Beta Camerupt. Now, Beta Camerupt looks relatively similar. The main thing that's different about it is that it looks a little bit more lazy, and its feet or legs look a bit different too. The humps look a bit different, and it looks a little bit more round in its head and its legs, I think, but not really its body. It's a little weird. I'm glad they went with the camera that we have today, but Pelipper, on the other hand, I think Pelipper looks crazy. This looks like Quaquavel's ancestor, but it looks like Giga Chad Pelipper, basically. Like, <laughs> back sprite shows that it has like a scarf around its its neck, which is kind of like, I guess, like the, the pelican. You know how pelicans send mail? So this is like a mail bag. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. And it looks like, it just looks like a chat, bro, with the hair and everything. I think Pel Pelipper, I like Pelipper as it is, but this Pelipper would have been crazy. Then we got my boy. I don't know if this is Shiftry or Nuzleaf. We'll find out when we look through the Pokedex docs, but it, I, <laughs> I don't know. It looks like something straight out of Majora's Mask. And I like Nuzleaf and Shiftry, but a Pokemon like this would have been cool. I think a regional variant of one of them like this would be pretty crazy regardless. Then we have this Yeti looking guy. I don't know if this is a Bomba Snow just early on. I have never seen a Pokemon with feet like that, bro. This is like Daedra if he had feet instead of hands with mouths. Um, I feel like we in Gen 2, in Gen 2, in Space World demo, we had another Yeti-like Pokemon like this, but I do not recall. Anyways, I don't know who this is. I'm going to assume it's Volbeat. Uh, this would have been a cooler Volbeat if you asked me. I It doesn't have a tail, so maybe it was going to learn Tail Glow. <laughs> At least, I don't, oh wait, it does have a tail. What's his little back? It looks like a pacifier. I don't know what that thing is, but there's something on its back sprite. Anyways, uh, I don't have too much to say about this thing. It, maybe it's Masquerade and Surskit, actually, because it looks like a water bug. I don't know. I don't know. It looks cool, though. I, I do like it, but I don't know what it's meant to be. I have no freaking clue what this is. By the way, I've seen all of these Pokemon, but I haven't, like, really looked at them. Now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, yo, I don't know <laughs> what the heck this thing is. Uh, and I, I'm not even going to try and figure it out. Uh... Uh, it might be an entirely new Pokemon. There, like, not every beta spread we're looking at is going to be related to, uh, to a current Pokemon. There are definitely some cut Pokemon out there. This might be one of them. If not, maybe it's like Shuppet. I got no clue. Azuril, I don't know why this is a cut or a beta Pokemon. Maybe it's just in the data. Uh, it looks a little sadder. Actually, no. Azumarill already looks sad. This looks just like, why do I exist kind of thing. Anyways, we'll, we'll move on. Kecleon, I think you're the same. Uh, Whalemur looks slightly different, I think. I think it looks a little happier. <laughs> it looks like it shed a little pounds in the front, maybe. Lombre does not look the same, bro. Lombre looks like it's going through an emo phase, and I don't understand why. This looks like a Digimon, actually. No cap. It looks like, uh, I think Gammon. Um, it's from Digimon Data Squad, if any of you guys know. But this Lombre ain't it. I'm glad they, I'm glad they went with the one that we got now. Let's see. This must be CDOT, bro. This guy must be seed out. If it's not seed out, it's shroomish, but it looks like a seed more than a shroom. This guy's going crazy. It just has to be, because it looks like a ninja almost. And Shiftry, like, kind of is like in the ninja class, I think. Yeah, this guy's, uh, this guy's crazy. He's got Trico's twig. I think they took Trico's twig, or this seed out's twig, and put it with Trico, and they realized it was better. Who knows? We'll find out. This is Surskit. So the other Pokemon wasn't Surskit. This is Surskit. I'm inclined to think that this was, uh, the other one was Volbeat or Illumise. But anyways, Surskit with these legs. Yeah, it's Surskit. I don't know. I like the Surskit that we got today. I, I, oh my god. <laughs> I... I cannot... I'm going to assume this is an entirely cut Pokemon. I cannot tell. If this is related to something, I, color me surprised, bro. Because I have no clue what this thing is related to. Uh, it looks cool, though. looks cool. Don't have much to say. What is this mirror guy? Who is this guy? This is Sableye. Oh, this is Sableye, because Sableye is like mega shows, like the gemstone coming out and like the reflection. I'm going to assume it's Sableye. That's my hunch. That's my hunch. It reminds me of Mega Sableye, right? It's hiding behind a gemstone, but we'll find out. If we see another beta Sableye, then we know it's not Sableye. This is Sharpedo, which is cool. I think this version of Sharpedo would have went crazier. People would have loved it. I love this one. It's crazy because the Space World, uh, Gold, Gold Space World demo had a shark. 
Pokemon as well. And that one looked like a water steel type and that one looked crazy. And then we have Sharpedo and then we have this one. If you ask me, most people prefer this one that we're seeing right now than the Gen 2 one, then Sharpedo. Because Sharpedo doesn't have a tail and I don't understand why. <laughs> and I think the other two sharks with the tail, like these guys, would have been way crazier. And this one in general looks like, it looks so menacing. It, it fits a lot for a water drug type. I think they fumbled. I think they fumbled with that one. Claydol. Claydol looks relatively the same. I mean, it's just the colors are different. I think its eyes are a little bit more open too, or maybe just the colors. I don't know. Uh, I don't have a, I think Claydol would have been Claydol regardless of what. So I'm not in favor of one or the other here. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Is this Malamar, but early? This, this looks like another Digimon. Maybe they were afraid. This looks like a Digimon for Digimon Frontiers. Um, the Water Spirits Beast Evolution, actually. And there's another Digimon that looks similar like this too, but maybe they were too afraid to tiptoe around Digimon, you know? Maybe they were like on pressing on Digimon's toes. Because at that point in time, Pokemon and Digimon were relatively like, they were competitive, you know? They were competing in certain, Pokemon was winning, but they were competing to some degree. So maybe that's what happened, this thing got cut. Uh, I, bro, this thing looks like, what is this? A rabbit Pokemon with bunnies on top? Is this early Tandem Mouse? Early, like, this is what inspired Torterra, maybe? Because, you know, Torterra hosts other Pokemon? <laughs> maybe. I got no clue. This is cool, though. I really like it. I wish we kind of got a Pokemon like this. Uh, this looks like NK again. I don't know what this thing is. It might be very, 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 very early Toxapex, who knows? Or Malamar or whatever. I have no idea who this Pokemon is, but it does remind me of NK. That's the first Pokemon that came to mind. Uh, oh, my God. Is this Shroomish? Shroomish is my best bet. Shroomish is my best bet in terms of guessing what this is. Uh, I like Shroomish a lot better. This guy's happy. It's a, he's a happy guy, though. I like the happy guy, but Shroomish is cooler. Uh, oh, dear lord. <laughs> I What's up with the grass types, man? What's going on? This is this looks like grass version of Smoochum, but cancelled. Like, what happened? <laughs> I mean, this would have been a cool Pokemon. We got a lot, a lot of these, like, grass feminine Pokemon anyways with Lilligant. Um, what's the other one? Lurantis, I guess. Um, there's a few. The Vanny and all that. I think this would have been a cool one. It reminds me a lot of, um, Serena. But, I don't know. Maybe it was, this was what inspired Serena later. Because you can see the petals. It looks a lot like, like the body, the one on its body. And even its head, actually. Yeah, this looks like baby Serena. I don't know. Maybe this inspired Serena later on. Let's see. Uh, I have no idea who you are because you're not Bonsai or Sudowoodo. And because they came in a previous generation. <laughs> so I don't know what you are. I really do not. I have no clue. Uh, you look a little sad, though. You remind me of uh, Grimace from McDonald's, the purple guy. Yeah, yeah. But a little like greener, browner. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, oh, man, this guy looks like some kind of cultural thing. And I don't, I'm afraid to get the wrong culture. Reminds me of like some African or Indian culture. But, oh well. Like, I have no idea. It looks like a, like a vase. Or an Egyptian culture, which is also African. But, right? It looks like a, it looks like a vase or like a pot or like a, you know, something made out of clay or pottery or something uh, that you would have. And I, I don't know. Maybe it's meant to be in uh, the desert route. What, what is that? 111? Route, the desert route. Whatever it is. 113? Whatever it may be. Um, but it looks like it's supposed to be from the desert route. I can see that happening. Dude, I have no idea who you are, but it's cool to see a scrap fire type. I assume you're fire. <laughs> Why do you have one ear? That's a little strange. Maybe you're supposed to evolve into one something with two ears, but uh, it would have been cool. Fire type is not something you see every day. Hoenn didn't have too many, just Blaziken, Camera, Torkoal, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, hey, I would have been down for it. I don't know what this tree is supposed to be. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like a secret base thing. Like if you make a secret base in a tree, you cut it down and then this Pokemon appears something. I don't know. It looks like the beginning of a Deku tree. I assume that apple thing is its nose. So, hey, it is what it is. We got, they had to stay away from the Deku Tree stuff. And then we have, uh, what is this, bro? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. I can't even tell what I'm looking at. It looks like a little play thing. Uh, not really, because it looks a little scary. But this also looks like something more cultural. I don't know. Maybe, I'm, I hope I'm not offending anyone's culture. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a fish. It looks like something from land. I don't know. I'm a skip. I, I, I have no other comment for this. There we got this thing, bro. 
this was bait for sure. If Gardevoir wasn't enough, this thing was also here. I think this inspired Primarina later on. It looks, it has Suicune's colors, which is cool. And I do like Primarina. Um, but this one looks a little more humanoid, which would have been a problem. Anyways, I think Primarina poses a problem already <laughs> for certain people. Uh, this would have posed a problem for sure. I think it's a cool Pokemon, but I also am not the biggest fan of it. Like, it looks a little too sad for my liking. But if it's like a water ghost type, I can see what they're going for it. You know what I mean? Um, but it looks like, damn, it's really, it's really sad. I feel like this is something that was going to be in the abandoned ship. Like a, like a, maybe a static Pokemon even. But I think it's like around there. Abandoned ship, that type of thing. This guy looks like Belly Bolt, bro. Straight up, maybe it's another Poliwhirl evolution. It could have been. Maybe they're going for that one Poliwhirl evolution per generation because uh, I think Poliwag is one of the developers. Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, Poliwag, one of them, it's their favorite, it's one of the developers' favorite Pokemon. And Poly, like Poliwrath or Poliwag, Poliwhirl is Red's first Pokemon in the manga. So I could have seen them doing something with Poliwag every generation. This could have been that, but hey, I think they cut it down. I think this might have been Belly Bolt's inspiration too, you never know. Oh, bro, I have no idea what this is. Zero clue. This it's got Cosmox colors. It's got Cosmox colors, but it definitely ain't Cosmog. I don't know what it is, and I don't want to talk about it too much. This thing is a little scary. I can see why they cut it down. It looks like a clown from the back sprite. But anyways, let's continue. Man, this guy looks like Shroomish. Everything looks like Shroomish. Maybe this is Shroomish. This looks more like Shroomish than the other one. But it looks like a Leprechaun Pokemon. I lied. This might be a four-leaf clover Leprechaun. Looking Pokemon. It might be a Leprechaun Pokemon. Maybe it's an entirely cut Pokemon. Got no clue. I got no clue. We're going to pass on this too. And see what the next one is. Whoa! This is Swablu. I know that one. Swablu looks cool. I like the Swablu that we have now. But this one looks cool too. Yo, you give me a, a dragon variant of this. I guess because Swablu is normal flying. A dragon variant that involves some like dra dragon ghost or something. I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me a regional form later on. Bayonet looks similar. Uh, the only thing that it has differently, I think, from the, you can see more from the back sprite, is it has the stake, or like the pin, that the, the Space World demo <laughs> doll had. Because, you know, it's a it's an abandoned doll. Yeah, sad boys, sad boys. Uh, it's got that, so th that is what it is. And then we got this thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like a poodle. I assume this is Fido's beta sprite. <laughs> Not Fido, I'm sorry, Furfro. Furfro's beta sprite from three generations prior. <laughs> I don't know. I think it served as the inspiration for Furfro, maybe. It looks similar. It does look similar, but I don't know. Uh, this got to be Berloom. This got to be beta Berloom, and I am so happy we have the Pokemon that we have now. This one looks more like a kangaroo, which is cool. Like, I can see the kangaroo inspiration. But Berloom, looking the way it does, I don't think it can be beat. I don't think it can be beat. This is, uh, Berloom's definitely the better one. I'm sorry. We got a Peacock Pokemon, bro. I don't know what they were trying, but a Peacock would have been crazy. I would have been down for it. I would have been good for it. This would have been amazing. Uh, it looks like a, it can evolve into something, so I don't know if they had an evolution planned. I think it definitely had to evolve into something because um, the sprite looks a little too childish. You know, it looks like it can still grow, but then again, a Peacock a peacock won't evolve. For, like This is what a full-fledged Peacock looks like. <laughs> but prior to this, Peacocks look a lot different before they're fully adults and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, a Peacock Pokemon, everyone's been asking for it. So, yep. We got Why Not. Why Not looks a little different in color. But besides that, it's pretty pretty much the same. Got nothing much to say besides that. Duskull also looks, I think, a little different in color. Maybe it doesn't even look different. Um, not too much to say about Duskull. Trapinch looks a bit different. It's got blue instead of what does it normally have, like brown? Yeah, it, it, the, whole, the whole Flygon line is different, I think. Because I don't think Trapinch was even a part of the Flygon line, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but we're going to find out in a second. But it's got some blue, and it's, I think its face looks a little different, looks a little happier. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what this guy is, bro. This guy looks like something from Lilo and Stitch. The slug guy. I, I don't... <laughs> I got no idea what this guy is. He does look like the slug guy from Lilo and Stitch, just a little bit more, like, you know, wiser, we'll say. Um, but I have no idea. It's got the Axodil... Thing. So maybe it was like Swampert, Mud, Marshnop, Mudkip before Mudkip became Mudkip before B Mudkip became the, you know, because Mudkip was the bunny before. You'll see, you guys, you guys will see in a second. Anyways, I have no clue. Okay, we're gonna skip. Then we have Latikin. 
Now, I know, oh, I was never a fan of Ladikin. Okay, I, I'm so glad Blaziken and Latios are split, but this sprite of Ladikin is insanity. Absolute insanity. And I'm like, dog, maybe Ladikin would have been crazy. Ladikin horizontal looks cool. Standing up and from the back sprite, it doesn't look that cool, but in this sprite, the horizontal sprite, it does look pretty cool. I think the moment it was standing up, it was chalked, but uh, I like the way it, <laughs> I like the horizontal sprite for sure. Roselia. Roselia is, I think, just a little le less elegant. I don't even think it's the body. I think it's just the way the legs are positioned. Like the fact that its legs were like crossed may it look cool, but Roselia looks like Roselia. Maybe it has a little bit more of a belly. I don't know, uh, but that's about it. Chimeco looks pretty different, but I don't have much to say about Chimeco. I think you weren't missing either way. Chimeco is a cool Pokemon. If you ask me, it's a very niche Pokemon. No one really talks about it. No one really cares about it, but I think it's cool just to have in the decks. Then we have Ninkata. Ninkata is, I mean, it looks dead. So like, maybe that would have been cool for Shin Ninja, but I like the Ninkata that we have today. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I like the one that we have today, but this one looks a little dead, so it helps in some regard. But anyways, uh, oh boy, I have no idea who this guy is. This guy looks like the Looney Tunes chicken, bro. The Looney Tunes rooster. You know, y'all know who I'm talking about? <laughs> it really looks like that. Straight up looks like that. And man, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. This guy also looks like a bowling bowling pin. Maybe he was inspiration for Ice Cube. I don't know. I think it was a bowling pin chicken rooster thing. That's what I think it was. Spiel, what'd they do to you? What did they do to you? They just took away your color. They took away your life. You still have life in you though. I'm, I'm happy to hear it, see that. But man, they took they took the life away from Spiel. <laughs> I'm glad we have Spiel now. Swalot, man, I gotta show this to Papa C. His mascot was gonna look so different. It was a whole egg. It was a whole egg. What is this thing, bro? Kinder Surprise got nothing on you. Humpty Dumpty? Man, who's that? This beta swallow, it's the real egg. Tropius, whoa. Tropius looks like a dinosaur, for real, for real. I like current Tropius more, but Tropius looks, this is an interesting Tropius. This would have hurt my eyes seeing this thing. It's a little too bright. It looks cool, but it's a little too bright. This, one's a, this is a crazy one, if you ask me. I know most people probably won't think that, but I think it's a crazy one. Just looking at its face, it's so different. I have no idea who this is. This is clearly a hummingbird, very clearly, but it reminds me of Flapple in many ways. I don't know. To me, it looks like it looks like a magic carpet hummingbird, because the back sprite shows like a magic carpet looking thing. I, I got no clue. It's a book. It's a book. It's a book. It's a book hummingbird, because it's got pages. It's got pages. So... Dog, yeah, I don't know. This is an interesting one. This would have been a psychic flying type by the looks of it. This would have been cool. I would have liked it. I would have liked it. Uh, I don't know who you're meant to be because you're not meant to be Sunflora. Unless Sunflora was supposed to evolve. All right. Because Sunflora came at Gen 2. You're Gen 3. Unless Sunflora was supposed to evolve, I got no clue who you are. Clampril. You're looking quite wise there, Clampril. At least your shell is. I don't know about you. You're looking a little weird. Actually, the shell is looking more menacing. What am I talking about? Uh, <laughs> I like current clam. I like current Clampor, all right? I, I like the current one. I like the current one. I, I don't know. I never thought I would say that. Clampor always seemed like a whatever Pokemon to me, but at least that one's elegant. This one looks a little a little weird. Huntail, however. All right. This guy went for the beta giraffe rig approach with a head and a tail with a head. Uh, Huntail, Huntail, Huntail. Do I like this one? Do I like the other one? I think I like this one more. I don't know. I like blue as a color more. Um, but ah, this one might've worked out. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Then we got this guy. Now I think from, I've seen a little bit of this. I think this is baby Makihita. I don't even think this is Makihita. I think this is baby Makihita. Cause if I'm not mistaken, if I go to the next one, we actually have Makihita. So we'll see. But, uh, baby Makihita kind of looks cool. Looks cool. Let's assume it's that. It's got a little scarf, looks like it's ready to fight, and then, yeah, then we have Makihita. Because the next one's Hariyama, I know it, I know it. This is Makihita, so they cut off an evolution. It would have been at three stage. They probably figured that Makihita doesn't need a baby form, and to be honest, they're right. I do like the gray-blue kind of thing, I, but it's just a preference for me. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. The sprites are pretty different, but I, I, I like this one a little bit more. And then we have Hariyama. Okay, I don't like this Hariyama, though. Well, do I? I don't know. This one looks like a superhero. Hmm... I don't know. I don't know. 
You're gonna have to let me know, chat. You're gonna have to let me know which one you like, which ones you guys like, and which one you guys don't like. But like for me, it's like, I think this is, I think this is one that I don't like. I don't know. Hard was a weird Pokemon. I'm not, I wasn't too big of a fan of it before too. I'm not a big fan of Iron Hands or anyone either, so it's hard for me to gauge. Uh, then we got this guy. This guy also looks like a Digimon. Not gonna lie. I could, I remember a beta like a baby Digimon that looks similar to this, but it looks like a C thing that like spins a disc. I got no clue what they were going for here, but the concept is pretty sick. Pretty gnarly, if I have to say so, because that's what they say with discs and stuff, right? The age of the 80s discos and stuff. Anyways, I'm too young for that, but I'm a little too old now these days. Uh, what do we got? Oh, we have this little fire capsicid looking thing. It's not a capsicid, but it looks reminds me of capsicid. Maybe it was capsicid. Maybe this is a grass and fire type for all we know. I have no idea what they're going for here. I have no idea what this is related to, but hey, I'm assuming it's a cut Pokemon. Uh, oh my goodness. I don't remember seeing this. This is the first time I'm seeing this. It looks like I think this is a B Pokemon, but I, from the back, it looks like a B. I don't know what it is from the front. This thing is kind of wild. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I, I can't even, it, it's an insect and it's got a bunch of different eyes. I think it's meant to throw you off from th seeing like the real eye because insects have that. But I, it doesn't look like a bee. Like what is, is it the queen bee? But like, where's the actual, is it like v Vespaquin early on type of thing? But where's comb bee? I don't know. Anyways, then we got this thing. I have no idea what to say about deprived Lugia. But this looks like Deprived Lugia. Now, this does look like Lapras, too. Like a Deprived Green White Lapras, but like malnourished, I mean, you know? But, hey, I, 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 I'm sorry that they scrapped you. I can see why they did it. It's unfortunate for me to say that. Because you're it seems like you're already going through it. But, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we got the kitty. We got the fire kitty. I, this is my first time seeing this. I love this thing. I love this thing. Why didn't they make this into a real Pokemon? I have no clue. <laughs> Why didn't they make this into a real Pokemon? This would have slapped. This would have easily slapped. What's wrong with them? Anyways, then we got Nummo. Now, Nummo, I don't know why Nummo wasn't there with camera. Up. I, I, I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong. <laughs> All right, Nummo looks a little sadder too. It looks a little lazier too. That's about it. It looks the same like in terms of like its body is whatever. Its legs look a little smaller. Uh, oh my God. This is definitely a Space World 2 a Space World demo. I keep saying Space World 2, but like a Space World Gold, Gold Space World demo Pokemon. I don't know how many times I said Space World there. But anyways, this is definitely one of them. I remember seeing something like this from there. Um, this this bunny rabbit looking apple thing looks cool. Could have been a Pokemon. I'm kind of glad it wasn't though. It could have been. It could have been for like a newer generation, but not like a Gen 3. I'm glad they didn't put this in Gen 3. I think Gen 3 is just, I don't know. It just wouldn't have fit the vibe. Maybe it would have fit Fortree a little bit. I don't know. But anyways, Electric looks pretty sick, man. I kind of wish we got this one. I kind of wish we got this one from the Max Sprite 2 is looking at you like, yeah, I'm here. I'm ready to go kind of thing. I don't know. This one's pretty sick. I think they missed with this one. We can get a regional variant though. Maybe this can be like Electric Dark or something. Um, I like this one a lot. I really do. And then Manectric, I don't like as much. Um, but it looks like a loyal boy. It looks like a loyal boy. It looks just a bit different. Does look pretty loyal. And I think the reason why Manetri looks like this is because I think there's an evolution to this. And I am correct. <laughs> I think I'm correct anyways. This looks like an evolution. I'm glad they scrapped the evolution. Because I don't know what they were thinking with this thing. This thing wasn't going anywhere. Oh, wait. It's front paws also go with the start. It looks like, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to move though. I think it's a little, I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know. It's cool, but it's not cool. Like look at the energy star maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's cool, but it's not. I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with Manetric. Metrics cool. Dude, I have no idea what you are. Are you Dusclops? <laughs> are you Dusclops? What are you, Feb? I got no clue. I have no idea. This isn't Dusclops. It looks like a tree. It's like another tree Pokemon, but a ghostly one, I assume. Maybe it's ice and ghost type. No clue. No clue. Uh, not much else to say from my end for this one. Ninjask, uh, you look pretty much the same. I think you're a bit different with the eyes and stuff, but I have no idea. Sheninja, you look like the stuff of nightmares. I'm happy with the Sheninja we got now. Maybe that's why they swapped the Ninkata out. <laughs> I am much more happy with the Sheninja we got now. Now, to be fair, and this, it fits with his Pokedex entries a lot more. But still, I think that Sheninja is better the way it is. Lotad, holy bro. I don't even know how many more Pokemon we have. Lotad is... 
<laughs> I got no clue. Um, Lotet don't even look like a real Pokemon. I'm happy with the Lotet we have now. I'm very happy with Lotet we have now. Uh, I'm gonna skip on this. Just say I'm happy with Lotet we have. Spinda! Spinda, Spinda, Spinda. You look pretty similar, so I can't say much, but I am happy that we got the Spinda that we have now. If we had a ton of patterns with this guy, I don't know. Spinda looks a little cuter with the one we have, with the version we have now. Lunatone, you look like you're tripping out, bro. You look like you're tripping out. Uh, yeah, Tate wouldn't have been happy with you. I'm happy with the one we have now. Laron. Uh, Laron from the back looks cooler from the front. I don't think so. Regardless, I think it would have worked for a good evolution into Agron, but I like the current Laron that we have now. This is not bad though. This is pretty good regardless. Like I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have made too much of a difference for me. I have no idea who, who, who is this hippo? Who the heck is this? Is this supposed to be Hippowdon before or Hippopotas before Hippopotas? This guy looks cute though. Not gonna lie. He looks a little cute. I would have liked him. If they ever make Hippowdon or Hippopotas into a regional variant, I hope it's something like this. This is so cute. Uh, bro, is this Jigglypuff's like second baby form? Like Jigglypuff 2.0? This guy's hatching from an egg. I have no idea who this is. This is, this is. this looks a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. I would not be happy with this. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Get me out of here. Uh, oh, this looks even creepier, but cuter at the same time. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Is this a horse thing? What? What is this? No clue. No freaking clue whatsoever. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm passing on this as well. Uh, this thing, it's like a crystal frost bug. It's a snowman bug. It's, it's, it's gotta be ice and bug. This gotta be frost moth before frost moth became a thing. 100%. 100%. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. I don't like it as much as Frost Month, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, this was meant to be slacking, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and boy, oh boy, am I glad that we got the slacking that we got today. This one looks like something straight out of Punch-Out. I think it's Punch-Out. There's a game. There's definitely an old fighting game that had like a monkey, or maybe it's like Donkey Kong. Yeah, maybe it's like Donkey Kong. It looks too similar to something. I can't pinpoint what. Maybe it's Donkey Kong. It's Donkey Kong, but like, Looks way too similar for something, for my scent, for my liking. So I'm happy we got with, that we got slacking. And slacking looks cooler in my opinion too. So hey, it is what it is. Uh, boy, are you uh, Kingler's... No, you're a magnet crab. You're an electric crab. So what are you? You're probably an entirely scrap Pokemon. This looks like Cloth. Before Cloth became a thing. Yeah, this looks like Cloth. I think this is Beta Cloth. This just might be Beta Cloth, boys. This just might be beta cloth, boys and girls. This really does. Like, psh, really looks like it to me. Really looks like it to me. I did, maybe cloth was planned all the way back in Gen 3. Crazy stuff. Uh, then we got this guy. I didn't even see this guy before. This guy looks cool. Another fire type. This thing looks like a fire type. Might have been a water and fire type for all we know. The way it's looking. Holy heck, it looks like a salamander. Looks, I know Charmander and all of them are there, but like, hey, this one's pretty cool. Might have been a fire dragon, might have been a fire water type. Who knows, but definitely fire. And it's always nice to... Yeah, it could have been a fire, because it, it might look like a fire hose, actually. But, like, obviously a fire hose is like water, but, like, I don't know what it looks like for me based off the tail. I don't know. I'm kind of down for it, though. Uh, Spoink! Spoink, Spoink, what did they do to you, man? What did they do to you? Current Spoink is definitely cuter. This one looks a little similar to Mankey. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like current Spoink more. Current Grumpig! Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I like it. I'm not gonna deny it. I know probably people you're gonna like you guys are gonna be like, what's wrong with you? But I kind of like it. But that being said, I think I like current Grumpig more. Uh, man, is this Rever Room? What is this? This looks like an engine. No, it's not an engine. It looks like a speaker or something from the back sprite. I have no idea what I'm looking at. It looks like something for cars though, like some kind of tool or like an air horn maybe. I don't know. But I'm glad they cut you, man. I'm glad they cut you. <laughs> uh, and then this thing evolves into this. Now it looks like something from like a, a drain or a faucet or some kind of household of plant, like a pipe. You know? I, I have no idea what this is. Yeah, I think these are pipe Pokemon. Probably that's what it is. But it's okay. We didn't need that. We didn't need that. It looks like a pail with a pipe. I don't know. Anyways, Absol. Yin, yin and Yang Absol was crazy. I'm also kind of glad they cut it though. Like, I like this more, but I'm glad they cut it because Gen 5 was approaching. And that, like, you couldn't have black and white without having this guy in the game. So, I'm glad they kind of cut it. Though, it's pretty nuts. Not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, I have no idea who you are. You do remind me of a Pokemon that we have now, and I can't think of who. Maybe Noibat? I don't know. Or maybe like a panda for some reason. Like Panchan, Pangoro? I don't know, but you're definitely like a rat. So I don't know what I'm thinking about, but hey, you're cool. You're cool, but I'm also kind of glad they cut you. I, I have no idea who you are, dog. You are a grass and steel type before Ferrothor was born, maybe. Or maybe a grass and dragon type or a steel and dragon type. I don't know, but it's a shame that they cut you. You could have made it big. I could see, I see a bright future for you. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for real. Oh, wow, we're getting into some territory that I haven't seen. This is cool. It's a bird. And I don't know what kind of bird, but it's like an electric bird, maybe. I have no idea. Based on the front sprite, it looks like an electric bird because it's like a little shocking things. But hey, this could be anything. I don't know. This is a cool Pokemon. I'm kind of sad they described this one. This one had potential. Dang, man. We're getting into some sad ones. Ah, oh, we got Nose Pass. They called me Nose Pass in high school. Did you know this? <laughs> now they call me Pro Pass because I got a big ass nose. Oh, I shouldn't have swore. I all kept the cut, cut that out. All right. Yep. Uh, this is Nose Pass. I, I, I like Nose Pass the way it is more because it look, looks like a lot more rocky. It looks like a rock type. I don't know what this one is. This one's too smooth for my liking. Uh, Shuppet. Shuppet looks pretty similar. I think its back sprite is a little different. It's horn, I mean. Like, I don't know. I think its horn's a little different. That's about it, if anything at all. Uh, I, bro, I have no idea who you are. If this is Vigoroth, if this was meant to be Vigoroth, oh man, oh man, this is problematic. I'm glad they cut the stick. Uh, oh boy, is this Slackoth? Is this this whole slacking lung plus that thing? I don't know what this thing is. Hold on, let me go, go one more. No, that's not it. I know what Pokemon that is. Uh, I don't know. But I'm so glad we got the monkeys that we got now. Slack, slack out, vigor off, slacking, crazy. They are so cool. This is probably Torkoal. This is probably Torkoal. A gift turtle. I don't know why, but uh, I assume this is Torkoal. <laughs> I am pretty, pretty happy with the Torkoal that we have now. We didn't need another gift Pokemon after Delibird. Maybe we, we can use another one, but not like this. Uh, you know, right next to Delibird. Yeah, it's all right. Then we have Latios with his beta sprite. Looks pretty cool. I guess Latikin and Latio, Latios were in the same beta. I don't know why. But hey, it was a thing. No idea. Maybe maybe they were testing both. Who knows? Then we have Latios, which obviously looks pretty similar. They both look pretty similar to what they are now. Just like slightly different. Um, but they look cool. They look cool. I don't know what you are. Hedgehog, rat. I have no clue. Zero idea. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, Zigzagoon. Beta Zigzagoon. It's my first time seeing it. I heard a lot about you. You're cute. You're precious. You look a little psyched out. Not gonna lie. But if it's just like eyes of, you know, purity and like want wonder. You're like just wondering about like just looking and just like curious about the world. You are so cute. You're so precious. Uh, 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 maybe they could have made you into a regional form, but we already have Galarian Zigzagoon. So who knows? Uh, then we got this guy, right? This guy looks a lot like Scraggy. There's a lot more Pokemon than I expected. I thought we would have been done by now. I haven't had food. I'm gonna have a food break after this. This guy looks like Scraggy, right? Before Gen 5, Gen 3 Scraggy, Pants Lizard, right? You're gonna be so surprised what he evolves into. He evolves into Grovile. Scraggy was meant to evolve the Grovile before Grovile was an actual Trico evolution. We haven't even gone through the concept art yet. There's so much to uncover in this video. So much. <laughs> this thing was meant to be uh, Scraggy's evolution. Scraggy was supposed to be into Grovile. I don't know, man, that was cool. It was meant to be blue and yellow. It looks a little different from the back, as you can see. But yeah, Grovile was not meant to be what we have today, just, which is crazy because Grovile is a staple in the anime and mystery dungeon and everything. Scraggy was meant to be here early. This one says a lot about the beta process and everything. Uh, then we got this guy. I don't know what the, what the breed of dog is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and guess. I'm sorry, dog fans. I love dogs though. Um, but it looks a little like Mabostip to me too. I'm not saying this is beta Mabostip. It could be, it could be. Uh, but I think it was just a dog. It looks, you know what? I'm gonna say it's beta Mabostip because it looks, the breed looks similar. I don't know what, what breeds are which. I'm not, again, I'm not well versed in that, but it looks similar. Uh, then we got this thing. Now, I don't know what this is. But again, we already had Gardevoir. We didn't need another feminine, a fem, a feminine humanoid Pokemon. This looks like the start of something that was going to like go on Reddit. All right, it, it look, but it looks cool. 
But at the same time, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know. There's a few of these Pokemon that look cool, but I'm kind of glad they were cut. This is one of them. This is one of them. Uh, oh boy, this fish. This is a cool fish. Now, we were already in Hoenn. We already had enough fish. But this is, maybe this is Finneon and Luminia in Gen 3. I don't know. I don't like this fish. It's a green fish. It looks cool, man. I would like that as a standalone Pokemon even. This would have been cool. Kind of sad they cut this one out. Uh, oh man, this is Relicanth. Oh man. Relicanth, what'd they do to you, bro? I'm glad you can see the moss. You can see the decay. I'm glad they made it into like a rock type the way it is. This, this guy just looks sad. He doesn't look like he's happy for living all these years. He looks like he's like done with life. Crazy. Yo, then we have Naga from Korra, the polar bear Pokemon. Obviously, this came before Korra, but like, why didn't we get this? Why didn't we get this thing, man? This thing would have been insane. I would have been so happy with this, man. We still, we have bear tick, but like, this would have been cooler. I guess you can say this is beta bear tick. Uh, the misery, the misery. Here we have Vibrava. No, I lied. This isn't Vibrava. Because Trapinch was its own Pokemon. This is before Trapinch. This is baby Vibrava. Okay. And uh, it looks... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, it look, it, this is a new Pokemon technically. And then we have Vibrava, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Then we have Vibrava, right? Vibrava looks relatively the same. Relatively the same. Not exact, but relatively the same. And then we got Flygon. So this whole line was entirely different and i don't know what to say besides the fact that i'm happy i am happy that the fly god we have the fly god line that we have today don't get me wrong this would have been cool this would have been cool but it's not what i like i like all three evolutions i like all three um all three pokemon here but i do like the fly god line that we have now it this kind of says to me that like they kind of like this ant eater ant lion thing that they had in store for fly god was just completely made up like they just decided to make it up on the fly uh they kind of linked the two together i guess midway but it's cool to know that we we're supposed to get a different dragon type pokemon <laughs> from the get-go but anyways we got this fox thing another fire fox i don't know if this i don't remember the other pokemon now but maybe it evolves from that um but this one's cool again i wish we had more fire types in general so i'm pretty happy with this and this one just looks cool it doesn't look like a fully like a super strong Pokemon or anything, but it would have been cool to have in the decks. Oh, this thing evolves into this. So, never mind. Um, yeah, I would have loved it. I would have loved it. This would have been cool. It looks a little weird. <laughs> I like the tail. It looks a little weird. I'm not going to deny that, but I would have loved it regardless. Um, then we have this thing, which, fun fact, I think Eclipse is the one that made the connection. This looks a lot like the flowers around Wally's, um, Wally's battle in auras there's like flowers i'll try to show it on screen if i can there's flowers in place that look very very similar to this so maybe this was meant to be wally's pokemon before gardevoir was who knows but it's a cool connection to make for sure uh i have no idea who you are bro you don't look like you exist this is a munching orange pokemon holy heck is this a pacifier in a duck's mouth with an orange on top like what is this it looks like a duck with an orange I, I don't know what they were thinking with you, and I, I have no further comments. <laughs> we're, we're moving on. Um, I think this is Sun Cast Form. Sun Cast Form looks like a sun, pretty much. I like current Sun Cast Form more. Then we have Rain Cast Form. I like current Rain Cast Form more. I'm probably going to show all four of these on screen at the same time. Uh, and then what is it? Sandstorm Cast Form? This guy looks a little menacing. Looks a little cool. Looks a little cool. But I, I do like Cast Form the way it is now. I know most people don't. Oh, Snow Cast Form, bro. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Hail cast form is not what it is today. Uh, the current cast forms are better in my opinion. But anyways, I also want to quickly show off some of the Gen 3 beta mons in the Ken Sugimori art style. We only got a few of them. Torchic, Lodakin, which is now called Elhawk, I guess. <laughs> this deprived Lugia looking thing, which is blue in this. I think it was green in the sprites. I don't remember. Uh, I, I, bro, this little, I don't even know what to call it. The clown gremlin looking thing was not green. So I don't know. The CD... Sprout thing was not this color either. The Smoochum Serena thing was different. They're all different colors. I, I don't know what's going on. Grovile was a different color. The Wally plant thing was a slightly different color, but you can see the sprites on those. So I don't know. I guess this is just concept art. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's cool. I like, I like the little bird that I was talking about earlier. This one it looks cooler in the 
Sugimori art, actually. And I'm now realizing that the clay thing is probably just clay, uh, freaking Baltoy. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. And there's three at the bottom, too. Azuril, Puchiena. Puchiena looks sad. I'm, I'm glad we got the Puchiena we got now. And the fossil-looking thing, which looks like an Aerodactyl fossil. I don't know. But anyways, this is just some extra art for you to show you guys. But we have to move on to the concept art. Concept art is crazy. But let me just show you the starters real quick, because we still haven't talked about Mudkip. So, with the concept art, of course, we have the starters. Uh, Trico definitely got that twig from that, uh, that C dot man. <laughs> like, I didn't realize it, but it definitely got the twig from the C dot to make it look cooler. Torchic, we've seen, we all know. And then the bunny. Somehow, this bunny has gotten so much popularity so quickly. Yes, I get it. It's a starter. It's like a scrap suit starter, which is, you know, something everyone loves to see. And typically, considering like the Gen 2 scrap starters, like starter Pokemon, when they're scrap, they get a lot of love. But a lot of people are talking about how this is better than Mudkip. And a lot of those same people love Mudkip. So I'm like, yo, where are the Mudkip fans, bro? Like, where, where, what's up with you guys? Switching up all of a sudden. What's going on? I get you can like You can like both of them. No harm in liking both of them. But a lot of people are like, yo, this should have been the starter of a Mudkip. I'm like, what's wrong with you guys? Weren't you? I was never a big Mudkip Swampert fan. But I, I know a lot of people were. So I'm like, what's going on? Why are you guys switching up? Anyways, Bunny's cool. Bunny's cool. It has a tube around its butt, which is kind of weird. Or like a tube coming from its butt, rather. Which is kind of weird, but hey, it's pretty cool. I like it more than the score, Bunny. I'll tell you that much. I definitely do. I definitely do. Maybe we'll get a Pokemon like this, but I think any Bunny Pokemon that looks like this now will just be associated heavily with the score, Bunny. People are saying this is just Water Score, Bunny, which sort of kind of is. But anyways, this is just one of the concept arts. Let's look at some of the others, and some of the others are freaking crazy in the sense that the, the way they were drawn, it's like something out of a horror movie, all right? Let's look at this spider thing. This is what people are speculating to be Metagross. As you can see in the bottom one, it's it's it looks like Metagross, right? The other two doesn't don't look like Matang and Beldum all too much. Well, actually, they kind of do. The small one looks like Beldum, and the other one does look like Matang, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess they were initially spiders, <laughs> and then somehow they became highly advanced technological robots. Uh, but the art style with which they're drawn, it's like nothing like we've seen before. This is actually like crazy stuff, like creepypasta almost, right? Uh, and I don't know, maybe this thing was like a ghost dark type, like another Sableye thing. Or I don't know, ghost fighting, dark fighting something. It's probably ghost fighting, honestly. Uh, it, it was looking crazy, right? But there's a lot of scrap Pokemon that are like this too. For instance, this fish. I don't know who this fish is. I ain't never seen this fish before. This fish is cool as heck. I ain't never see him though. Um, but yeah, I mean, dog. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say besides it's cool. I really, really like it. But I'm just very surprised that we got this art style for Pokemon. Can you imagine what this would look like in pixel art? I don't know. I don't know. But it's pretty dope. And then we got this thing. Which looks straight like it's from Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. It's... Uh, it's some kind of rock insect thing? It's a rock thing that has unknown letters on its side and around it. It literally looks like something from Zelda. Like the Guardians or something. I don't know. But I, there's more unknown lore by the looks of it. It looks like a ruined Pokemon just with... Unknown alphabet. Maybe different versions of different letters? I have no idea. I would have liked the Pokemon like this to just explore the lore of the unknown and stuff more. Um, but hey, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say besides that. Uh, we didn't get it. Then there's this cookie thing. I, I, I think someone has talked about this a little bit more. Uh, but, but this thing was cool. It looks delicious, but it's not, you know. Uh, then we got this guy. It looks straight like another Digimon. Again, from Digimon Frontiers. Uh, I swear to God, we got... A, the grounds beast spirit that looks like this. I don't know, man. This thing would have been cool. I would have liked it. But it does look like a Digimon to me. Straight out of Digimon. Speaking of Digimon, we also got this guy. Now, I don't remember a Digimon like this. But he does look like a Digimon. This aquatic looking dog thing. Man, this would have been so cool for a Pokemon, though. I would have loved it. I have no idea what it is. It's got Tuskers. It's cool. It would have been dope. It would have been dope, but... A little too much Digimon-like. And the last one's de this next one, not last one. This next one's definitely too Digimon-like. This thing is straight up data into a dog. <laughs> it's just like a dog made out of data. And while it looks crazy cool, like a crazy electric type, 
Uh, I, I, they were treading on Digimon's toes, bro. I mean, they were stepping on Digimon's toes. I don't see how they get past uh, the allegations with that. Then we have this rock dog, who I assume it's a female and male version, or maybe it's a pre-evolution and evolution. I have no idea. But uh, someone in the Discord server, um, the one with all the information, <laughs> I believe it was Asta from that server, mentioned how the brown one looks very much like Raru from Legend of Zelda, which, gotta admit, it does. <laughs> it does. It does. So with all a lot of these cut designs, I can't help but feel that they, they're very similar to um, monsters or creatures from other franchises. And that's, I feel like that might have been a reason why there are a lot, like a lot of them are cut, but who really knows? I think we only have three more. Why don't we start off with one of the crazier ones. This is Cacturn, <laughs> obviously and crazily. I don't know what, I don't know who's working at Game Freak, but someone's into this creepy stuff, man. Someone's 100% into creepy stuff, but because man, this is wild. <laughs> this is wild. This is not at all what Cacturn look, looks like, but you can tell that this is Cacturn, obviously. Like, it looks very similar, but at the same time, it doesn't. And this thing just looks really, really creepy. Imagine if this is what made it into the game. Whole, no wonder it's a grass and dark type, bro. No wonder. <laughs> this thing is scary. Holy. I'm, I don't know if I'm glad that we didn't get this or what, but it's insane. Regardless, the next one is Tame. It's Deoxys. And uh, Deoxys is pretty much Deoxys. I don't know what else to say besides it. It just looks cool. They, they, they got it immediately, you know? They got it immediately. They made it. They're like, yep, this is a good Pokemon by the sounds of it, by the looks of it. Maybe the thing in the chest has changed a bit. Or am I forgetting? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting confused. Um, yeah, it's changed a little bit, I think. But regardless, I think they nailed Deoxys. What they didn't nail right away, though, is what seems to be Rayquaza. And I don't know if this is Rayquaza or not, but it looks like the head of a dragon or something. Now, it could be Linoon, but is Linoon going to look this crazy? No. So I'm assuming it's Rayquaza. And yeah, they eventually decided to make it green and change it up a little bit. And yep, is, we got what we got now. But uh, if this was Rayquaza, this is quite the way. Rayquaza is one of the most... Rayquaza, Rayquaza, whatever you want to say, is one of the most popular Pokemon of them all. So going from this to that, incredible work. <laughs> incredible work, for sure. Post-editing hybrid here. As you can see, I included the names and the comparison of the sprites in the first section of the video because I realized this video was way too long. <laughs> and so going over the Pokedex entries would take a way, way longer and there's a lot to go through. So my mistake, I'm going to link the websites down below where you can see all the Pokedex entries and everything. Once again, shout out to high res Pokemon as well as the cutting room floor. They've pretty much compiled everything together and you can see them more in detail. Again, I got the notes to the best of my ability in the video itself, so you're not missing too much, but there are actual Pokedex entries as well for both Ruby and Sapphire from almost all of these Pokemon. So you might want to check them out, though it is quite a long read, I will warn you, but it's worth it for all of these things. But then again, we got Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 4 beta Pokemon as well that we need to cover, so we'll see how that goes. We will continue to have fact videos and manga videos on the channel. Tomorrow you'll likely see a fact video, but we'll also cover some more beta Pokemon videos as well. Most likely either Gen 5 or Gen 6. Gotta see which one is more in demand at that point in time. See you guys on the next video.